Hi everyone, the preview for the balance patch in January was released last week and I can say I was a bit surprised and disappointed by some of the changes. Let's get into it. We have some changes to relics and it seems they focused more on the support ones, but there are some nice buffs to all of them, especially for Weaver, which might have a choice now between Fireworks and Relic of the Weaver. And now for the ugly part. Elementalist received some nerfs to the hammer, basically undoing all the buffs from the previous patch, which is a shame because it wasn't really that OP, and I did not see people using Tempest or Weaver more than before because of the change. This also means that the variety is gone and you will always go for Sword or Horn for DPS builds no matter if they are Condi or Power. Next is Engineer which was nerfed too, and again without a good reason, because the Condi build needed 3 kits to keep up the damage. It was a good trade-off between experience and damage. But that is not all, because the Scrapper was scrapped too. I thought it was a good option for power builds like DPS and Quick DPS, but Arinanet thought it was too powerful, so they nerfed it. It's not by much, but still, it's a nerf. Time for Guardian, which was mostly changed in PvP, but there is a big change to Radiant Fire trait, where it doesn't proc Zealot's Flame on crit, but it grants an additional charge, and will also inflict additional burning. So this is a buff to Condi builds for Firebrand and Condi Woolbender. But we will see how much of a buff it is after the patch drops. There are also some small buffs to Firebrand tone skills, which is nice. But moving on to the next one, we have another nerf spec, Mirage, which I kind of expected when I saw the benchmarks, but after trying to reproduce this myself as an average player, I couldn't get anywhere near the number on the golem and I was doing a lot better with Virtuoso in actual fights. So this makes me wonder why they would nerf it. It was again something that had a good balance between experience and damage. But honestly, this is not a good way to go forward. There are also some buffs to mantras for Chrono, which is nice, but it's also got a nerf to the healing output of the mantras. I will just skip Necro, as this is a world versus world only change. And we get to Ranger, which had some buffs to Greatsword, which makes sense since Hammer was the main two-handed weapon. I still think Hammer will be better, but picking a Greatsword now will not leave you at a big disadvantage. And speaking of buffs, Untamed gets one too. It now gets 5 might stacks when you use the let loose trait. But unfortunately it's not all good news for Ranger. The carry on pet got its damage nerfed which is a shame because it was a good core option. Now I guess we're back to Jacaranda and Iboga. Next we have Revenant, which got a buff to its Condi build with its Frigid Blitz that inflicts Torment now and some animation speed adjustments, but we also have a nerf to Echoing Eruption, which does just one blast finisher now. And another nerf to Vindicator, which was a simple and great DPS option, and now it is just a simple and good option. Thief had changes in PvP only, so we will skip that. And Warrior, actually just Berserker, which got nerfs to its power DPS and quickness DPS builds, but I do not think the impact will be that big, so they will still be a good choice for Warriors. And these were all the changes scheduled for the 30th of January. I really hope they reconsider some of the changes here, especially to Mirage and Condi Holosmith, as those builds have a nice complexity to rewards ratio. I really think sometimes these balance patches are done based on golem benchmarks and not actual data from the majority of players. What do you think of these changes? Do you agree with them? Let me know in the comment section below. If you want to see more content like this, please let me know in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed the video, please click the like and subscribe buttons.